right guys, welcome back. This is gonna be a short video, but I wanted to do a review on these Corker Polar Vortex uh, boots. They're ice fishing boots. I bought them two years ago, and uh, I've had two ice fishing seasons on them now, so I wanted to let you guys know how that went. Um, unfortunately, this year, uh, these boots started leaking really bad. Uh, just horrible amount of water inside of them. Uh, which was really disappointing because these are some of the warmest boots I've ever had. Uh, the things I like about them, they do have the Corker's removable soles. So you can switch your soles out real easy. Um, they have different soles that have like uh, studded carbides in them or just a regular steel screw. Um, so I really like that feature about them. And the other thing is that the actual sole of the boot is about an inch thick so it keeps you off the ice and it keeps your feet warm and i really enjoyed them for the first season i started to get just a little bit of water in them the second season and then this season i went out the first time we went out and it was just like i might as well not have had boots on that's how much water was in these guys and there wasn't a ton of water on the ice uh, it was just enough to come up halfway on the sole I'm pretty sure that this glue joint here is what's failing. And um, it's just really frustrating when you spend like $300 on a pair of boots and then you get a season out of them. And as you can see, there's not really much wear on these. Um, I keep them inside. I keep them in the heated house in the closet with all my other gear. Um, so there's really not an explanation for, for why they, uh, they started leaking. Um, some of the other good things I do like about them, I, I do like this BOA system. It's convenient. I will say that after about a year, these started to get to the point where they'll they'll loosen up on their own and you have to kind of retighten them a lot. Um, it's not a big deal by any means. Uh, and when we're fishing the shanty, I usually leave them loose so I can just slide my boots off and on. But um, if you're going to shell out the money for them, it is something to think about. I'd, I'd almost... They're at the point now where laces are better as far as keeping your boots uh, tight all day and not having stuff rub on you and everything. So there is that. So there's some good things and some bad things. Um, with all that said, I did reach out to Corkers. I sent them an email and I said, hey, you know, I know these have a one year warranty, but uh, I'm just really disappointed in them. They've started leaking, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, they shipped me a brand new pair. So I can't knock them for that. Um, they sent me a brand new set this year. So even though the date code was out of date for their warranty policy, they still stood behind their product, which is hard to come by nowadays. Um, virtually nothing has a warranty. And even if it does, they try and tell you that it wasn't their fault and they're not gonna do anything. Um, so it really was was hassle free. They sent me a new pair of boots. The only thing that I have to do, I gotta destroy these and send them pictures. So I thought, hopefully a razor knife will get through here. If not, we've got some other tools that we can employ. At least it would benefit you guys taking a look inside. So there is quite a bit of insulation in there, which is probably why they're really good at being warm, but that doesn't do you any good if they're full of water. Um, I 
And now, I'll do this to the other boot, and we can take these guys down to the Cape and wear them in the canal. Keep your toes cool in the summer. Um, in all seriousness, with all that said, I really don't know if I'd buy them again. Um, there's a lot of stuff on them that I like, but it's also stuff that once I had it, I was like, eh, I, you know, just a regular pair of good boots, something like a Baffin or, or, or even uh, Cabela's has some really good outdoor boots. If you're going to shell out 300 bucks and they're going to leak in two years, you might as well spend like 100 and 150 bucks a year on a pair of boots and uh, they might last you longer. I don't know. Um, they were really warm, but uh, aside from that, that's, that's really all they had going for them. So, like I said, the company's good. They, they, they helped me out. They sent new boots, um, so I can't knock them for that. Um, I just don't know if I would recommend them to anyone. So hopefully that helped you guys out if you're looking at these and thinking you might buy some. Maybe it didn't. Maybe you completely disagree, uh, and that's fine. But uh, that's my experience with them, uh, having two, two seasons on them. So I hope it was informative, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>